24 cool gifts for science lovers. First up, this is dancing ferrofluid. Ferrofluid, also known as venom, is magnetic liquid. When you turn this device on, you'll see that a microphone picks up any sound and moves the ferrofluid accordingly. You can also place it near a TV to watch it move to the audio of the show while you watch. First up, grab a glass bottle with flat sides. If you just want a bottle of ferrofluid to play with, that's a cheaper alternative and is still really cool. Next up is this Swinging Sticks Kinetic Art Display. Simply lift the large rod to this starting position and let it go. It's powered by four AA batteries that weren't included, but those batteries will allow the display to run continuously for up to two years. If you want it to stop, grab the large rod and hold it in the vertical position for a few seconds. Next up is this bioluminescent orb. If you've ever seen images or videos of naturally occurring bioluminescent phytoplankton, well then you know where this is going. Fill the orb with the provided phytoplankton, and since they are living organisms, make sure to follow the instructions and give them adequate sunlight and food. Then in the evenings, you can take the orb to a dark closet or room, turn off the lights, and swirl it around to see them emit light. Next up, I grouped together these levitating devices. You can get a light bulb like this, a moon lamp, or a small plant pot if you prefer. You have to carefully position these to get them into a stable position, but then electromagnetism does the rest. And yes, they do actually levitate. Next up is a simpler one, the tippy top spinner. When you spin this top, it will flip over and then continue spinning. Next up is a musical Tesla coil. This might just be the coolest thing I've ever purchased. It comes with safety instructions that you need to follow and you should always do your own research and exercise caution when using this device to avoid harmful shocks and burns. If you have a pacemaker or are a child, please stay away. You can adjust the size of the arcs with the power knob and the frequency of the arcs with the frequency knob. In addition, using your phone and Bluetooth, you can play square wave music on it. And here's a sample of that. This device also comes with several other cool accessories like this tube which constrains the arcs or this iron wire which you can bend into any shape you want. I made a simple circle to test it out and then did my best attempt to make a star. Here's another attachment that creates different arc patterns. It also came with thermal paper, which can be used to capture the mini lightning bolts. Since this is a Tesla coil, you can light up fluorescent bulbs nearby, and it came with a few small bulbs, although purchasing an additional demo kit like this gives you a few cooler options. If you like the idea of a Tesla coil but want a cheaper or less advanced version, you could get a classic plasma globe like this. Touching the bulb creates plasma arcs to your fingers, and you can still light fluorescent bulbs from a distance. The next one is for anyone who loves statistics, and that's this Galton board. This device is filled with tiny metal balls, and when you flip it over, the balls fall and create a normal distribution. Next up is this low temperature Stirling engine, which is powered by a temperature difference. If you fill a mug with hot water and place the Stirling engine on top and wait a few moments for heat to transfer, you can give the engine a slight nudge and it will start to pick up speed and will be powered for several minutes until the liquid cools down. Since all it needs is a temperature difference, you can also power it using ice cubes. This definitely still works, although it doesn't power it quite as well. This next device is a cool wine bottle holder, which seems to defy physics. Without the wine bottle, the chain holder simply falls, but with the weight of the wine, it balances and is quite stable. Another surprising display of balance is this toy bird. It doesn't seem like it should be able to balance, but the wings stretch far enough forward that the center of gravity is in line with the display stand, which means it's quite stable and you can also hold it on your finger. Next up is the helicone slash lollipop. This is a kinetic art display that you can spin to transition between the helical shape and more of a tree shape. The wood version, the Helicone, works a bit better with the stand, but is more expensive, so you can get the cheaper version, the Lollipopter, if you want more vibrant colors. Next is the Hang Balance Lamp. This lamp is a pretty standard rechargeable lamp where you can adjust the brightness and change between two different colors, but the cool part about this lamp is that you turn it on and off using these magnetic balls on strings. When you place them together, the lamp turns on, but separate them and the circuit is no longer complete. Next up is this, quote, anti-gravity humidifier. Obviously, it doesn't defy any laws of physics, but it does provide the illusion of upward flowing water drops. This device works by sending a high frequency strobe light across the falling drops of water such that each successive flash makes it look like the drop is lifted slightly, when in reality, it's just the next falling drop that is illuminated. 
That's the cool trick on display, but it's also a fully functioning ultrasonic humidifier, which humidifies your room. FYI, there's many different styles of these and they all have terrible ratings. So I'm not sure if I just got lucky on the one that I purchased because it works really well, but I wanted you to be aware of that. Next up is this tabletop sand art display where a magnetic ball draws patterns in the sand. Start by emptying the white sand into the container, then spread out the sand using the provided brake, place the top on and turn it on. The device will immediately start a cleaning cycle to smooth out the sand. Then using the app on your phone, you can send individual patterns you want made or send a playlist you can loop through. There's a ton of patterns to choose from on the app, but I kind of wish you could draw your own pattern and upload it. Another sand art display that's much cheaper is this dynamic sand art display. In this sealed disc, there's different colored sand, liquid, and some air bubbles. You can continuously swirl it around and watch the liquid move, but I think it's better if you let it settle and then completely flip it over. Sometimes it can take as long as 30 minutes for the sand to trickle down, but then it creates very cool landscapes. It doesn't work every time, but when it does, it's pretty awesome, especially considering the price. Next up is this Miroscope. It sure looks like there's a tiny frog right there, but when you look from a different angle, you'll see that it's just an illusion and that the frog is actually inside the device. This also works with other objects of a similar size, like this piece of candy, where it looks so real you or your friends might be tempted to try to pick it up. Objects with straight edges like this Scrabble letter don't work quite as well though, and the image gets more distorted. Next up is this perpetual motion display. You can use this item to trick your friends into thinking perpetual motion is real. This rechargeable device uses electromagnets to accelerate the magnetic balls to get them to return to the top. But the power button is discreet enough that people might not notice. Even once you reveal the trick to them, it's still pretty satisfying to watch, especially when you add multiple balls. Next up is another classic, the Euler's disc. This disc is precision machined to be able to spin for quite a while and is a great showcase of the conservation of angular momentum. This disc will spin for over two minutes and although I won't show the full clip, it's interesting to see how the sound changes with time. It also comes with several magnetic reflectors so that it looks even cooler while spinning. Next up is another classic, the drinking bird, and I'll also group it with the hand boiler. Start by dipping the felt head of the bird into a nearby glass of water. As the water evaporates, the head of the bird is cool. This cooling condenses some of the highly volatile liquid inside, which decreases the pressure and sucks up the liquid until the bird becomes too top heavy and tips over, wetting the beak and starting the whole process all over again. The hand boiler is similar, except this time the heat from your hand raises the temperature, which increases the pressure and pushes the liquid up. Once it cools back down, the liquid will return to the bottom. Next up is this gyroscope. Without spinning it, the gyroscope falls off the stand, but spin it and it stays up in the upright position. It takes a bit of practice to be able to do it properly, and don't make the mistake I did and get this one, where winding the string is much more of a pain and the string gets caught a lot more frequently. This one is a bit more expensive, but definitely worth it for the convenience of winding. If you want something that's even more challenging, but definitely way cooler, you can get this levitating spinner. When done correctly, you can spin the top and have it levitate for over a minute. The key here is when done correctly. It probably took me about an hour to make all the necessary adjustments to make it work. For starters, you need to practice spinning it while providing a downward force so that it doesn't immediately fly off. You also need to make sure that the top has the correct weight, and it comes with additional discs to weigh it down. Once you get the spinner to almost be working, that's when you follow the instructions and adjust the knobs to fine tune the tilt of the platform. I was able to get it multiple times in a row once all the adjustments were made, which was incredibly rewarding. Next up is the Mova Globe. This globe rotates using the power of the sun. In a dark environment, it won't move, but when you shine a light on it, you can clearly see it rotate. There's lots of different sizes and styles to choose from if Earth isn't what you're looking for. I put links to all these in the description of this video and on my new website CoolScienceFinds.com, where you can also find more cool gifts that didn't make the cut in this video. I'd also love your feedback in the comments on which ones were your favorite. As many of you know, I've been adding to this collection for the past three years and I'm always on the lookout for more. If you want to get notified of my latest finds, you can sign up for my simple newsletter. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.